Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous and in today's video, we're going to attempt to catch glass with our laser. So let's get to it. So we've never etched glass before, so this is kind of going to be an experiment. Yeah, so we're going to use a glass plate and we're going to use our Monport 40 watt CO2 laser to attempt to etch it to see what kind of results we can yeah. get with etching glass. We'll use Inkscape to just create a simple design and Lightburn to make sure that we can actually use this design for our laser. Once we're in Inkscape, we can use our Bezier tool to create lines for our spider web design. Now we can use our Nodes tool to correct the shape. We're going to use our Bezier tool again to create the spiral of the web. And we want to get rid of the fill of the shape by pressing X. And also shaping it with the Nodes tool. And I can copy and paste this to make a repetitive pattern. Then I can resize it. And I want to use the Fill and Stroke Stroke Style tab to change the width of it to match. Then I can repeat this process. To save all the width settings I created, I'm going to go to Path, Stroke to Path. Finally, I can save my design as an SVG to import into Lightburn. We're going to engrave the bottom side so that we can still use this as a plate. Now that we have the glass position, we're going to put some tissue paper down and wet it for heat dissipation and for some crisper lines. interesting results and I think we can definitely improve upon what we've done. So do you have any lessons learned? Well, we tried the wet tissue technique that we read about on the internet that should reduce heat stress or um, create finer lines, but I'm not sure if that interacted with the glass, which is why we got some of those flakings uh, off of our etch. So I guess I would like to try it without that tissue to kind of see what kind of results we can get. Maybe more consistent throughout the entire design. I don't know. And if you have any tips on etching glass, leave a comment below. I will say it feels like real etching. It's not going to wash away. Even with some of the results that we got, it did provide a more consistent etch than our other etches using a chemical etch. We had some issues in the past on that, not like etching completely. So this was a, a lot cleaner, but we got some things to work through. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications to get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.